Hey guys, so in this video I'll be running Sailfish OS on this Nexus 5. By the way, that's a carbon fiber deep brand skin, looks really awesome. So I'll just be basically if you don't know what Sailfish OS is, it's another operating system like Android and iOS and stuff. It's open source and they have made a version for the Nexus 5. So you can actually flash that through recovery. But in this case I'm gonna be multi-booting it like uh, I'm running it side by side, my store, my daily driver ROM which is CyanogenMod Mod 12 and a bunch of other ROMs like Ubuntu Touch and stuff. So in this video I'll be showing you a hands-on of Sailfish OS. So first just normally boot it up. There the Google logo and as you can see I've unlocked the bootloader for all these mods. And here it says auto boot. Now this is a part of multi boot. So I'll, I'll just do cancel and over here you can see all my ROMs. I have CM12, I have Euphoria, I have Firefox as well. And I have Paranoid Android and I have Sailfish which I'm about to show you all. And I have stock Android 5.1 as well plus Ubuntu Touch. So there are like 7 ROMs out here. So here I'll show you Sailfish OS. You just double tap that to boot it. And now it's going to start. So it's, the boot animation is actually just like this part but the LED light at the bottom will light up like that and I'll just stay like this for a while uh, and that's just a bug I guess it's nothing wrong it just shows you like a messed up screen for a second and there you are selfish OS okay so uh, this is actually the lock screen part um, turned off so this is how the lock screen looks like if you actually it's the uh, the user interface of sailfish os is really 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 different from any other normal thing is like if you actually think about it like ios android and firefox and many others are pretty standard and similar like the basically all icons and tiles and things and you can just tap on them but in this um sailfish os is actually operated by like gestures and other swipes and taps and things like that so this part right here is lock screen and from the top if you swipe down you can just directly silence all sounds uh, I'm not sure you can see that but you can silence all the sounds or if you swipe more you can head over to phone directly or swipe more to go to messages or swipe like the most to open your camera so if you and if you swipe from the bottom it unlocks your phone here it says the battery 92% and it's on flight mode and this is like your main screen it's not like a standard home screen where you can add icons and stuff but uh, there is something like an app draw and a dock over here like here's the phone messaging um, music and camera apps and if you swipe once more here are all your apps basically it's like the app drawer so now if you go into settings supposedly then as you can see it opens it in that first home screen kind of thing uh, it's not actually like a home screen like I said you can't add any icons or anything but it's just like your multitasking thing combined with a home screen so um, over here we have flight mode Wi-Fi data and Bluetooth directly and here you can in increase or decrease the brightness and change the ringtone and here you can go into system and do some more stuff like look and feel display shortcuts sounds and feedback um, and again fly, you can configure flight mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth and all that stuff and there's Bluetooth and you know, Bluetooth sync and backup and you can set up password lock and develop options are also there and there's Sailfish OS updates and, and now if you want to exit from an app like this is settings so if you want to exit from this the way to do that is to edge swipe from the right so if you swipe like that it'll fade back to your home screen and here you can see the settings app has come here and if you want to close that, just press and hold that and hit the little cross button right here. So now this is again your home screen, so you can just go like that. And these are all the, basically all the inbuilt apps. I haven't, I just downloaded like one or two. So you get the calculator, calendar, the Jolla store, which I'll show you guys, gallery, email, um, the contacts app. Some other camera app because the stock one does not actually work. There's some bug. So I just downloaded another one called Camera Plus. Uh, this one works. If you want, you guys can see it's just loading. And there you can see and uh, yeah so you can again swipe like that to exit it 
and here all the other apps and notes browser file match all the basic apps and flashlight just whatever and just hold that and close it and if you swipe back up um sailfish reboot is actually um uh, just because the stock thing when you press and hold the power button there's only a power off option so i just want to reboot things so i could easily switch between roms and it turns out that you don't actually need any sort of hack like for android you need root access but uh in this you can just directly either swipe down to shut down or you can swipe up to reboot and here it says the uptime which is also pretty nice and here's some info developer info and stuff and Another thing is that the confirmation, like for example in Android, if you want to shut down or something, it'll say, are you sure you want to shut down and OK and cancel. In this, it's a bit different. So like supposing I do reboot, for example, um, it'll say your device will reboot in these many seconds tap to cancel. So if I tap that, it'll get canceled. So that's also pretty cool. And again, swipe like that to exit it. And here's your lock screen once again. Like you can actually leave it at this for like a couple of seconds and the device will lock. So that's also pretty neat and swipe up so the whole user interface is really different and that's basically sailfish os for you i'll just show you the jala store um i don't know what this is oh uh, okay i guess my wi-fi was off or something so okay um okay then yeah, so it says loading apps and there's actually an option for Android apps where if you go somewhere here on the top or somewhere. Um, my apps. There was a section like Android um, App Store or something. So that's actually kind of cool because I guess what that means is that you can download Android apps on this. So that's really cool but for now i don't know it wasn't working i saw on the xt8 thread which i will also have a link to in the description that the camera which i already told you all about and the android apps thing doesn't work yet so they'll probably add that later on in the future if they do yeah their marketplaces as you can see here if you hit that it says you will be able to view content here once it's available there is supposed to be some option for google play store out here so that would be really cool if that can come and like you can run android apps on this but anyways, for now, this was Sailfish OS on the Nexus 5. So I'm just going to reboot and boot back into my stock CM12. Just hang on. And that's the switch off animation. says Jolla and the red light blinks there. And I should reboot now. Yep, it's rebooting. And the really cool part about multi-ROM is that you can... You just have to reboot your phone and right now it'll show you, it'll give you a list and you can choose whichever operating system you want to boot into. So I also have Ubuntu Touch and Firefox which are not Android and then I have say, uh, stock Android 5.1, Euphoria, Paranoid Android and Cyanogen Mod which is my daily ROM so I'll just boot into that and show you guys. The best part about multi-ROM is that you can um, just keep switching and you don't lose any data. So. It all just stays there. That's the CM animation.